Thousands of people are expected in downtown Green Bay today for Fire Over the Fox. Rolf Johnson joins us live from the Neville Public Museum with more. Good morning, Rolf. Good morning, Angela. Happy 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. It's our country's birthday. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Happy Independence Day. You know, the Neville is located right there down in the heart of downtown Green Bay. You guys must have a lot of activities going on. Well, Angela, you're right. We're on the banks of the Fox River. And of course, a lot of people are coming down to enjoy Fire Over the Fox 2013. But before the fireworks displays, there are a lot of activities actually going on here, including on the campus of your Neville Public Museum. All right, so why don't you tell us what's going on outside? Well, Angela, the first thing, of course, is people come up, they will see that we have the Kiwani Power Station Family Stage. So we'll have activities actually right out in the parking lot. Um, some of them are going to be, for example, at 1 o'clock, the Hmong Community Center Dancers. Um, Angela, some of your viewers may remember that powerful exhibit we did on the Hmong community. 1.30 to 2 o'clock, Randy Peterson. I hear he's a real favorite with kids, uh, for kids of all ages. From 2 to 2.30, um, I'll be up on the stage with some of the 10 nonprofit organizations that are also going to be talking about what they do, what their missions are, who they do it for, and the kinds of ways that people can support the community because after all, Independence Day in the United States is also about celebrating all the work here in our community. Randy Peterson will be back for a couple of more shows in the afternoon from 2.30 to 4. And then the waterboard warriors, those water skiers who are going to be performing on the Fox River mm -hmm. at 4.45, they're going to come to the family stage and talk about how they do it, how they build those human pyramids. I I'm still not sure how it, how it happens without everybody toppling off. And then last but not least on the stage, at 5.30, the 484th U.S. Army Show Band will be performing. Not only do these men and women, of course, protect our country, many of them are incredibly talented musicians. They will be performing as well. And then, Angela, inside the museum, we have the golden age of video arcade games. Over 80 games from the collection of Bradley Check. In fact, 12 of these games you can actually go and play. So we're inviting people to have a great time out on the campus of the Neville Museum on the Fox River and to come on inside the museum to see the games exhibit and also a small exhibit on Ben's Wish, wow. a very powerful charity here in town that deals with hunger in our community. Mm -hmm. Lots of activities going on out there at the Neville and uh, Ralph, you did a great job of, of uh, telling us all about it. I'm sure a lot of people will be heading out there today. Thank you and happy 4th of July. I can't wait to see you again, Andrew. You, you take too. care and hide all your viewers. You happy, uh, happy 4th. Bye, Ralph.